Hi, in today's session we will show you how you can utilize Omega 365 for design review both of BIM models and technical documents. We also will show you how we utilize AI to check the content of documents and to produce our own release notes yes. and how we utilize uh, checklists also in document review. And first we're going to have a look at how you can do design review in Omega 365, both on uh, design models mm. and of course we have PDF uh, documents and drawings like we've had for decades. Uh, yep. But uh, also now reviewing of the design models is an integrated part of the document management solution. So I'm now in the document register. I search for electrical and then I see first a uh, document. Uh, this is on review and then I see also this one, the IFC model, which is also on review. And the nice thing now is that you will get a preview of this IFC model uh, here uh, and you can uh, click on view in BIM and you will get this as part of the whole BIM. Uh, yeah, in easy BIM navigation view. to kind of the full BIM viewer. Yeah. Um, the and in this case, you also get the full model. It's a part of uh, the, the, the document we saw. The IFC file we looked at was just uh, electrical. Yep. But when we now navigate into the BIM viewer, we get the full model. Of course, there you can select then which uh, part of the model you want to see. Yeah. And if we now go back to this document and uh, let's uh, click on it and there we will see the review is ongoing. I see the profile here. Uh, I see the, uh, the review tab, just like if it's a document, I can see who are part of the review. And if I click on go to review, we get into the reviewing uh, functionality for BIM models. And perhaps you, Jan Christian, want to yes. show us a little bit how that works. Yeah, and now as you uh, can see on the right side, we have the model itself. Uh, and there is actually this model consists of multiple uh, files mm -hmm. and two of them are on the review. So you can have as many part of the model, the files in review at the same time. Yeah, here we have the electrical and the HVAC. Yes, so you can choose to isolate only electrical, uh, navigate and you have the, your hotbar and the same tool set that you are used to in the BIM viewer. And if you click HVAC in addition now, you get both on top of each other. Yes, yes nice. Yeah, yeah. And of course, if you have the architectural or structural, you can have multiple. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also then, if we, you, you also have the layers. So in case yeah. you would like to, in addition to the file on review, you want to add architectural, for example, mm -hmm. the structure, but it's not in review, you can do that as well. Yeah. Uh, nice. So you can compare. And then we have workflows, which is then um, comments or yeah. issues, finding clarifications that you would like, uh, and we have two here. Yes, bo and both of them are model design review comments. Yes. Uh, so uh, as part of the reviewing, then you will create a workflow for each of the findings that you identify. Yes. But as you said, you could also create a query if there are any clarification needed, you could create that. As well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can navigate uh, as you're used to in normal BIM view where you can quickly navigate to the point mm -hmm. uh, and we can open up the workflow itself. Um, you and have the same screenshot. Yeah. And that's taken automatically, right? When yes. you create the workflow as part of the review, a yeah. screenshot is taken. Yeah, and you can do also then markup. You, would, you, you can nice. add yes. uh, mm. points, text, uh, etc. and save this. So this will just be this additional uh, information. Uh, mm. And of course, following the steps, and in our case, we added evaluation, execute, and verify, and added a couple of checklists yeah, to the process. Because that's also nice that when doing the review, then, then you have the possibility to utilize checklists, so you know what you look for. And this could be the checklist could depend on what type of drawing it is, uh, yes. uh, what type of uh, process it is, etc. Yeah. Yes. That's nice. Um, another thing then related to reviewing documents, and we just mentioned checklist. We saw a checklist there on the on the model, and uh, we have uh, same support now also on regular documents. So if we go to profile, and I will see here on the other, I have checklist, and here we have 
for this type of document, we will have this checklist. Yeah. So when the reviewers go to the review app, they will get this checklist on the left hand side. So when they perform the review, then they will also need them to say, okay, the title accurately describes the drawing, and perhaps this is not applicable, uh, etc. So yep. that uh, can really help standardizing how you approach the review of the technical documents or any type of documents, of course. Yep. And this checklist was now for you. We have Simon, yep. uh, John, demo user, each of the users in the review will have their own checklist yes. so you can audit it by user. Yep. Yeah. Then that's some AI? Yes, that's a key thing. Of course, when you have big projects and there's a flow of documents coming in, and instead of doing the manual work of verifying that the content is correct or setting the values, the properties, we can do that now by utilizing some new AI functionality, AI analysis. This one was very quick because we have uh, had already yes, done it, yep. but it takes a few seconds yes. uh, normally to check the document. But as you can see here, it identified the document type, the review class, classification code, discipline code, etc., etc., yep. directly from the drawing. And then you can just say update properties, and it will update Omega 365's document register with these uh, values. Yep. The same functionality you have also here when. Uh, using the uh, deliveries app. We use that also for checking the content, checking the consistency in the document uh, mm. name versus what's already in the document plan, etc. Uh, we also use AI actually now on our release notes. Yes. I must admit I was a little bit skeptical in the beginning. We can just let the, uh, those who are responsible for the workflow write a nice summary. Yep. And they do, but then combining, because there's so much information in the workflow, uh, in the different steps, in the initial description, but they can't use the initial description because that might be in Norwegian or another language and it yep. may contain... Customer's name. Yeah, um, yeah. Th things like that. But now, Based on all that information, it generates quite uh, useful uh, release notes, actually. Yep. And it's, it's very efficient it because unified. we are... unified. Yes, yeah. that's also true. And it's very efficient because we need it to be efficient because we uh, basically are continuously updating our solution. Most of our clients are on a daily cycle. Yep. So uh, having these uh, updates being available in this way uh, is very useful. We are also about to add now planned features. So those that we have decided to execute, mm. those will also appear uh, with a summary of what we plan to do. Yep. And with an estimated plan deck for when we're going to start on it. Yep. Because so uh, we can't commit to the end date typically no. on those things, uh, but then at least in a way a little roadmap for the, for the coming periods. Yes. Okay, Good. that was it for today's Omega 365 Friday. Yes, yep. yep. Thank you. See you next time.